Hey George, 5-2 defeat against Hampton. The unbeaten run comes to the end. Where did you start with that today? Firstly, credit to Hampton. Um, they were the better side today by country mile. Um, football is about defending both boxes and we didn't quite get out of the races in terms of um, defending our, our box and we got punished and punished well today. We knew at some stage the, the unbeaten run was going to come to an end and today um, it's just an eye opener as a reminder to our group, to us, that we need to work harder and keep working and keep developing, especially on race stats. That's the thing, like, we've been quite good at it the last couple of months, but you know, today you just come completely unstuck in that. I mean, what do you sort of put that down to, really? It's, it's nah, what we're having full time, isn't it? Nice, nah, it's, it's the desire. It's the desire, the hunger to want to go and win the first phase. If not, um, you don't let, you don't let um, their player have a free header in our box. And we've done that excellently to this point. Um, we've gone from, I think, having the best defence in the league to today having the worst defence in the league, in my opinion. Um, but again, it's my job, it's our job as a management team. We've had a chat in there and we've got to take this one and we've got to move on and move on fast from it. I mean, that's the thing, you must know, be tearing your hair out of the fact, you know, we've done all the hard work because it's getting back to 2-2 in the frantic game and then we can see another goal from this set piece. It just sort of, you know, it just sort of had that feeling today, didn't it, that it might not just go our way today with the way it was, you know, their set pieces were going today. No, at that stage, it was a great response from our team, um, you know, to get ourselves back in, in the game. Um, but again, it's about when you put yourself back in the game, can we? defend our box properly and we didn't do that today and we let them again um, another cross or corner is coming and we've not we've not defended our box and you know three two then we're giving ourselves a big mountain to climb um, but again it's great to see how our players went about it in the second half when we were down to 10 men um, we kept on going all the way to the last last minute so there was too late then and then the trouble is as well i mean it doesn't help when you've got mostly defensive mostly injured at the moment I mean, say six players out today is there any sign of any of them coming back into the frame soon no excuses um the squad that i've got I'll, I'll pick from it we pick from it we select what whatever um, team we've got available to us um, in terms of the personnel and we, we can't look at the players that are injured um, whenever they are fit we use them but i'm um, not one to make excuses here it was well beaten today the injuries to take care of themselves for now we have to look after the ones that have finished the game today to see how they are they go recover and we go very again and that's the thing the good thing is the fact that we've got you know very little time now to recover but then again you know got a chance to put things right on tuesday and another ken derby against dover um you know you've been wanting to get everyone behind him obviously you've got a chance now to review what's gone on today with him but try to help him put it put it right on tuesday no we don't need to review we know exactly we're all sorry and the players know exactly where they've they've gone wrong today and we'll put it right hopefully on tuesday and we know our crowd that they're going to be behind us um, but we got to learn and learn fast and this is the beauty of this league the game's coming thick and fast and we have to we have to learn from this and we have to move on fast well thank you